whenever people are throwing uh, cigarette butts or toothpicks the flaps can get stuck in the open position so the vacuum is not uh, doing its job and cannot suck everything from your to toilet bowl hello hello welcome to my simon life another vlog from the ship it will be a short one i just want to tell you about the toilets maybe you are wondering how we are handling that part of our human life <laughs> it is not like in the old days when you go to the poop deck and you do your uh, duty there that is why actually it's called the poop deck in the old times maybe you have seen the pirates movies they just go in the back of the vessel and they just do their thing over there it is not like that anymore it is not allowed uh, that is pollution to the environment to the maritime environment and we are not allowed to do that we have toilets just like you have at home and there are two types of systems the exact system that you have at home with the water bus in on board uh, on top of the toilet the capacity is about 20 25 liters but there are always problems with that system maybe it's leaking water and whenever you need to flush the basin is already empty <laughs> or maybe you have problem with the supply pump and it's not giving the correct amount of water and when you flush it's not enough water there to flush everything and there is another system which we have on board here with vacuum that system it's more reliable from my point of view the only thing with that is that uh, it's very sensitive and uh, we always have problem with new people on board who have never been on board vessels which have this vacuum system or cadets also first time on board and they are thinking that the ship is has a toilet like they have at home and they throw apple seeds cigarettes toothpicks and uh, usually we try to teach him actually in this contract we never had this problem so the people understood already when we told them whenever we have new people we tell them please do not throw anything in the toilet and this is uh, an advice to you whenever you are going on board do not throw anything in the toilet except toilet paper that's it nothing else even if you have the old system and you do not have vacuum like this when you are on board do not throw anything except the toilet paper that's it nothing else so this system here has a toilet same like you have at home but the difference is it has some pumps which are creating the vacuum necessary to take out the stuff that is in the toilet so it has a flaps and the flaps whenever you are pushing the button to flush the flaps is opening the vacuum pump will start and will take out everything that is in the toilet and then after two three seconds the flaps will close back and uh, that is how the everything that was in the toilet bowl will go inside the sewage tank so if you throw there any apples or toothpicks these flaps can get stuck and also there is another flaps uh, before the sewage plant there is another flaps at the vacuum pumps and those are the flaps that usually get uh, the problem whenever people are throwing uh, cigarette butts or toothpicks the flaps can get stuck in the open position so the vacuum is not uh, doing its job and cannot suck everything from your to toilet bowl and of course we have to open everything and nobody enjoys putting their hand in shit every day so that is why we teach the new people please do not throw anything do not make this problem for us uh, so the everything that you put in the bowl is getting sucked by the vacuum pump is going in the sewage plant and the sewage plant has some pumps which are uh, aerating the the water there the dirty water the sewage from the people and also chopping everything making it smaller and in the sewage plant there are bacteria that are feeding with this uh, whatever you are putting in the toilet there they this bacteria are special bacteria that are uh, are, that are feeding with the human shit and like that so after we take everything in the sewage uh, tank 
we go it with we pass it through a uv system to kill the bacteria but at that time there is no more shit in the water the water is already clean only muddy it's only muddy but we use the uv system to kill the bacteria and that way we can put the water clean water outside in the ocean to do this operation to put uh, uh, the water outside the sewage plant you have to be at least uh, 12 miles away from the shore so you can only do it in the middle of the ocean if you have any delays with your vessel and you have to stay in anchorage for many many days this uh, sewage plant tank will get full but also we have another tank and that is used for this scenario that I have explained now if you your ship is getting delayed and you have to stay in Anchorage for I don't know two three months you have to use this other tank uh, and I suppose if you are staying longer than that uh, you have to call a barge to give this sewage to the shore and the company has to pay because uh, you are not allowed to throw this in the ocean this is a violation of the Marpol regulation and uh, the sewage has to be treated with this bacteria and then with the UV to be thrown before it can be thrown uh, in the ocean. We do not uh, want to do any pollution to the environment. This is our job and of course we want to take care of the oceans. We don't want to do any pollution. And this is how the toilet works here. Yeah, and so of course any spares that we require we have to tell the company uh, for, for this vacuum pump or for the other pump which is chopping and the UV lamps uh, any spares that we require we just give to the company and they always supply us because this is a very important equipment for the crew and for the environment and there is no excuse not to have this equipment working in perfect condition the fourth engineer has to check every month the condition of the bacteria over there he has to supply uh, if there are uh, if there are dead uh, he has to put more in there and also he has to check this water uh, to be to, ha to have the normal pH so we know that it's uh, clean enough to be uh, discharged overboard and that's about it that's about the toilet I just want to tell you this information maybe you are wondering how we are uh, handling ourselves regarding this subject regarding the toilets I know it's a disgusting subject but still maybe you are curious how we are doing this so i'm just wanna i just want to tell you this we do not pollute the ocean we take very good care of the ocean we have to take care of the ocean because otherwise we would lose our job <laughs> so we are not doing any pollution from this side maybe the pollution is coming from the shore side that's another discussion thank you very much for your attention uh, after this footage, I will show you a short clip of the sewage plant, like two minutes or so, just going around the sewage plant. Of course, I cannot speak over there. That is the engine room and it's very, very loud and uh, I cannot speak. You will not hear me anyway. So I'll just show you that footage. I hope you enjoy this clip. Like it if you like it, share it to your friends and I hope you consider uh, subscribing to my channel I will keep posting interesting stuff from on board, whatever job we are doing here, my opinions sometimes about the Simon life and things like that. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the following clip. Goodbye.